Essentially, I just need a camera and a lens. That's it. I know I should bring a tripod with me, but I like to be as light as I can be. At the same time, when I do go places, I always bring a bag with maybe five or six lenses. And nine out of 10 times, I use the same exact lens. I adapt my shooting to my lens. I've gone through phases in my life where, you know, this was my 16 to 35 millimeter phase, and then this was my 50 millimeter phase, and then this is my 24 millimeter phase right now. The first lens that I started to shoot with was 16 to 35, and I was addicted to that. But then as I kept shooting more and more, I would become more conscious of like, okay, well, if you try and shoot people, people start getting a little bit distorted at 16 millimeters. Come, come right here, no, right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried a 50 for a while to get some good portraits and that was fun, but I wasn't getting as much as I wanted in the frame. An entire story. So then I changed to 24, and 24 for me has just kind of been my, my sweet spot. The clouds could not be any better right now for what I'm trying to make. What are you trying to make? You'll see. The 5D was the first one. It had like a single lens reflex, and that's when I discovered depth of field. That's so when I was like, wow. <laughs> First time being able to ma manipulate that depth of field and learning how aperture works and that really opened up my eyes to what can be done with photography. You adapt and try to make the best out of your environment and growing up in New York City has been my primary reason for doing that.